Yeah. 
guys have fun? Yeah. Woo. They've worked really, really hard, and I have pushed them very, very hard. So thank you so much for all the parents and uh, friends and family who have supported your uh, daughters, friends, brothers, sons. It's nice to say that. It's nice that granddaughters, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, friends. Let's hear it one more time for the pop stars. Usually we have this concert in June, but we do have one more performance in June, the School Coffee House, which is going to be, I think, the first Thursday in June. I want to say that's June 5th. Usually we have the Coffee House on the 5th, and then the next day is our big pop star show. But uh, I'm getting older, and doing two really big shows back to back is uh, going to take a toll on this old lady. So um, we decided to try it in April, and I think they pulled it off. What do you think? Yeah? yeah. It's been a lot of hard work, but uh, at this time I'd like to recognize the 8th graders who will be going off to uh, high school, and uh, first I would like to recognize an 8th grader who, this is her first year as a pop star, I'm glad to have her, so let's hear it for Caitlin Quirk. And another 8th grader. Obviously, they're all eighth graders, but this is her second year as a pop star. The very, very talented Ellen Kester. <laughs> now, these next eighth grade ladies all came in as sixth graders, came back as seventh graders, and just could not get enough of me, and are now here again as eighth graders. And I saw, seen them grow and become fabulous, talented, talented ladies and performers, so I'm going to miss them terribly. And in no particular order, let's see, can I do it in alphabetical order? The One of my favorite country singers, who someday I'd love to see even uh, more talented and more popular than Taylor Swift, <laughs> Josie Collins! <laughs> and next, the powerhouse Singer, Miss Nadia King. <laughs> and last but not least, the most challenging. <laughs> but boy, am I going to miss this one. Mary Sullivan. <laughs> Well, the show's just about over. We have been, I have been doing pop stars and working with young people with this group since... Wait, 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 show's not over. Oh gosh. <laughs> Hold up. Okay, you go first. I need to borrow this. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hello everyone, thanks for coming. Okay, so first things first, this thing, well, this extravaganza, would not have been possible without the lovely Mrs. Salviati, Mrs., yes, she used to be a Miss, and it's kind of weird for me to say Mrs. now, but she's a Mrs. Salviati. I love her so much, and she's helped me develop so much through my career, and I'm so glad I have her in my life. She's like a second mom to me. I love her. Thank you. choreographer who could not be here today, but she's here in spirit. Uh, this is for Mrs. Murray, if you'd give a round of applause. <laughs> Mrs. Murray um, choreographed all the group numbers and helped some of the, some of the kids with their individual numbers as well. Um, if I choreographed them, they'd just be doing this the whole time. So, thank goodness for Mrs. Murray. She is involved in a theater production of Little Shop of Horrors at St. Anselm, so that goes up tonight as well. So that's why she's not here, but I'll make sure she gets your well wishes and flowers, because I will be going to the show tomorrow night. So, this is the point of the show now that they surprised me with flowers, thank you. Um, where I ask if there are any pop stars who have gone on or are not in the audience, 
please come on up here because we are going to end with our traditional Ain't No Mountain High Enough. And we usually have pop star alumni join us on stage. So who do we have? Sammy Honeywell? Krista Fletcher? Sammy, let me get your microphone. Krista, Chelsea Austin. And hiding somewhere back here, somewhere, is the marvelous Meredith Byerly. All right, so all of you, get up. Get up and sing whenever you're ready, Bob.